Welcome to a special holiday edition of E&OE Whiskey Whiskey. First, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everybody. And today's special tasting is going to be Blanton's, the original single barrel bourbon. It's distilled to Buffalo Trace in Frankfort, Kentucky. 46.5 alcohol by vine, 93 proof. 75% corn, 15% rye, 10% barley. Aged 6 to 8 years in the historic Warehouse H, the Suttercut area, which is where Colonel Blanton himself used to pull the single barrels for dignitaries, family, and friends. He felt that was the best place for the bourbon to actually get its best flavors for and temperature control as well as humidity control. And then we're going to find out here shortly if that's actually the case. One thing that's really exciting about this bottle for me personally is that the date that it was poured, or dumped as I like to call it, was on 11-12 of 18. I happened to be at Buffalo Trace that day taking a tour. So there's a real good possibility, don't know for positive, but a real good possibility that the, when I walk through the Blanton's bottling area where they actually put the wax seal on the, the cork and everything, that this was actually being bottled while I was actually standing right there. And if that was the case, that was really cool. So I can only imagine and hope that's actually what happened. Some of the things that are really cool about the bottle itself is they actually tell you where, where the course, which warehouse it was, which is Warehouse H, the barrel number, the rick number, and the proof for the bottle. So I'm really excited about that. It's been really hard to find this in northern Ohio, but I finally got my hands on a bottle, and I'm really excited about it. One other thing, too, on these corks, and I won't know if you can actually see this or not, we'll give it a try, is right there at the back leg of that. I think you should focus here. Is the letter N. Every single one of these corks is different as far as the horse is concerned, and is a different letter. See, so what you want to try to do is collect the word Blanton with every single one of the corks. So let's take a taste here, or look at the nose and the see what all we have going on here. Again, like I said, I am really excited about this. I took the liberty of taking the wax seal off this just because of the fact that I could tell it was going to be a real pain and it was to get off. So I didn't want to sit here and struggle on camera with you. Although it might be kind of funny. We'll coat the glass first and let the leg settle while we're looking at the color. The color is a nice amber. Almost burnished orange. Take a look at that there. A few legs are forming, so we know it's going to not be too sulky. It's going to be a little more dry, maybe chewy. We'll find out here in a minute. The nose has got a nice vanilla and caramel, some butterscotch. I'm getting a hint of clove and nutmeg and cinnamon. Let's take a taste. A little, a little alcohol burn there, because it's kind of spicy, won't lie to you. Um, definitely a lot of citrus and woody notes, oak, sandalwood. Uh, chewy, definitely on a chewier side, a little dry. And not as fantastic as what I was hoping it was going to be. Um, not from everything I've read. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's still a really good bourbon, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as robust and, and flavorful and sweet notes as I expected it to kind of be from Buffalo Trace. It's good, though, don't get me wrong, but it's just not what I quite expected. Let me take a second taste to make sure I'm not making mistakes here. Mmm. No, about the same. But seeing as how this is a holiday, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're also going to add in here an adult root beer float. Specifically, we're looking at the Buffalo Trace bourbon cream. A little jewel right there for you. Nice liqueur. It's only 30 proof. Nothing, nothing strong, but... Gonna have the bourbon flavor there. One thing to remember about bourbon creams like this, because we are talking alcohol with cream, it's infused in cream. 
is that typically alcohol and creams don't mix very well together. Typically the alcohol will make the, the cream curdle. But because it's infused, it's going to last a lot longer. Once you broke the seal on this bottle, you have seven to eight months from that time frame to go ahead and get a drink, get a drink it down. So find a place to write the date down so that way you don't lose track of when it was actually opened. Unopened bottles can be stored for up to two years. So keep that in mind too if you happen to pick up four or five of these bottles and then you decide you want to store them for a while that you go have about a two year life expectancy on the shelf before you have to worry about the bottle. So what we do here is we take this bourbon cream and we pour oh, two or three shots in there. I pour it to the point where I can see it in the bottom of the glass and know where I'm sitting at. When I was at Buffalo Trace, they had this McGillicuddy's root beer there. And it was an extremely nice root beer. Not super creamy, like, like an A&W or something like that, but definitely more of the heavier root beer type flavor. And you do about a 50-50. If you want to do it over top of the rocks, you can do that. Or just do a 50-50 mix. Let's see what we got going on here. That is a nice adult root beer bloat. If you like what we do here on ENOE, please like and hit the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of the page. Please leave a comment. I would really love to be able to hear from you all and see what we're doing here actually is making sense to you. And if you enjoy that, and if you do, please let me know. If you don't, please let me know the reason why you don't enjoy it. I'd really like to know. We also have an Instagram page. So on Instagram, I always post a picture of what we're testing that day so that way you get a chance to do to see the, the bottle on Instagram and then go to YouTube and see the, see the uh, actual tasting. Again, my name is Dean. Merry Christmas to you all and I hope you have a happy new year. And cheers.